<laughs> I am, I don't really know exactly where I am. Welcome to Ride to Hike. Cody here, just right outside, about 20 miles outside of beautiful Glacier National Park. Heading south today, going towards Salmon, Idaho. Uh, be getting out of Montana into the beautiful state of Idaho. I can't wait. Spent a lot of time in Idaho. I love that place. And I've never been in the Salmon area. I'm exploring more of the Lewis and Clark Trail today and different areas. I'm really excited to see. Got a bunch of stuff saved in my Google Maps and it's so fun to, to get to them and, and check them out. So, woke up this morning and uh, you know, it's kind of a cool misty day yesterday it was just rained all day all day um so today it's supposed to be blue skies a uh, gorgeous day uh the chain was a little loose so i had to tighten my chain this morning gonna uh, get going i can't wait on the bike another day beautiful backdrops here and uh sadly heading away from glacier national park it's been awesome but uh it's always so fun to check out new things so let's get going Pretty chilly actually. It's late August. There's some snow in the peaks from the storm yesterday. It's winter comes fast in these areas. So anyway, I'm just uh, a little outside of Missoula, Montana. Just took a break, just put some extra layers on to bundle up. It's pretty cold. <laughs> so anyway, uh, heading towards a little town called Lolo. And I think that's where I'll get my next fill up for gas, get uh, kind of a little later lunch. Check that area out and uh, let's continue on. It really doesn't get much better than this. See how these beautiful mountains Still in Montana, just gorgeous backdrops. I had to pull over, so right behind me is a herd of buffalo. And uh, if you've been watching the channel for a little while, you know that I'm really into buffalo. Just amazing animals. So cool to see, this is definitely, I believe this is the buffalo range behind me, so. Just so neat to see us right along the highway and I uh, had to pull over. know exactly where I am kind of out in the middle of nowhere I just pulled over uh, I wanted to just chill and have like a little drink and some snacks and just pulled over up into the forest I think I'm about an hour away from the Idaho border still in Montana I'm right up by this really cool trailhead I was talking to some guys and that's one thing I wish I had more time to do with some serious hiking it's just hard to do it all uh, I was looking for some trails that I could walk or potentially hike tonight or tomorrow morning in Salmon, Idaho area, but uh, there's like an 11 mile hike up to some lakes, literally right where I'm sitting, there's a trailhead right up here and some waterfalls and some lakes in there, it looks awesome, but you know, I just never have quite enough time to do everything you want to do, but couldn't ask for better weather, just been really beautiful, 
just love being on the bike. Um, I think I'm about an hour away from somewhere I really wanted to see this uh, Lewis and Clark spot. Uh, I stopped earlier in an area that uh, the Lewis and Clark expedition had stopped in Lolo, uh, Lolo, Montana. I believe they called it uh, Traveler's Rest, something like that. They stayed there. And uh, it's just kind of neat. Um, I don't think anybody's really interested in a lot of the history, but I kind of am, and it's fun to it just kind of adds to the ride. significant spot that I've been dying to see. I've had to save my Google Maps forever uh, for the Lewis and Clark Trail. And it's now called Ross's Hole, which was named after a French trapper later, but uh, I was able to go find it on my Google Maps, exactly where it is. And and uh, it's kind of nice there. I mean, it's pretty much what it would have been back then. It's just like a, a ranch or some cattle on it and fields. And so this valley is pretty similar to what it would have been Lewis and Clark and the expedition came through this area um, and they encountered uh, hundreds of what they called flathead Indians. It's just kind of interesting to think, you know, they said they had over 500 horses out in this little valley here and I got some other videos of it so you can see exactly kind of more of it, but you just imagine what that really would have been like. One of the chiefs of the tribe saw them coming and didn't view them as hostile or anything because they were just basically out in the open. And Lewis and Clark uh, in their journals describe how friendly the Indians were, which would have been so, so amazing. I mean, just really for like a wannabe historian or for somebody like me, like what a, what a cool experience to have encountered uh, a group of Native Americans and they just welcomed them like they were, they were friends. They gave them uh, clothing and fed them, even though they didn't have hardly any meat, they gave them a bunch of, uh, food and supplies and just everything they needed and they smoked peace pipes with them and just had uh you know interesting conversations i guess there was one indian that was a shoshone that was able to translate uh that language to sacagawea who then translated to the french trapper her husband who then translated to lewis and clark so imagine the translation <laughs> of what they're saying who knows really i mean it's just interesting to think about but all that went and happened right out here and now, you know, you never know, the, the natives lived out here and thrived out here.
this beautiful spot, just a little ways outside of Salmon, Idaho, crossed into Idaho a little while ago. Shout out to my mom, it's her home state. Love Idaho, just uh, stoked to be here. Just riding through this gorgeous valley. This is an area also that Lewis and Clark went through and encountered a lot of natives along here in the river. And gosh, it's gorgeous in here. This is just so fun. It's getting late in the afternoon, I'm starving, but I can't stop riding, I'm just having too much fun. These backdrops are amazing. This would be such a fun uh, river to float, fish, hang out in. Always wish you had more time. Wish I could camp here, or just stay here for a while and explore, but there's just too many places, not enough time. <laughs> 